Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for watching. And in this video, I want to touch on how we handle styles and um, what it is. It's really inline styles, and it's a little bit different in JSX and React because this is all JavaScript, and uh, JSX is almost like an XML presentation of um, of your components. But it is still all just JavaScript. It compiles down to that. So you got to do some. Uh, workarounds, which is a little bit different than what you're used to, but there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I've been programming now for many years, and um, at first, honestly, I, I didn't like JSX, and it was enough to almost make me go to a different project. But I mean, React is—I um, mean, I, I couldn't be happier w with it um, so far, uh, getting started with it. And uh, the JSX thing is really not that bad. It's going to be a lot easier once more and more editors start supporting it. Um, like right now, I'm using Sublime text and doing a lot of other stuff in PyCharm and then I use Visual Studio as well but uh, both PyCharm and Visual Studio can't handle JSX but anyway it grows on you so just bear that bear that in, in mind um, hopefully you guys stick with it and eventually you'll start to like it as well so where we want to use the inline styles um, we want to declare that as a variable which is um, the interesting part of this so inside of my render function here I want to style this H1 to be a different color. So what I'm going to do is actually create a variable for the uh, style, which is really you could think of it as like a class name. But what I, but what I'll do is since it's an inline style, I'll just call this. Uh, I'll name it inline style just so you guys know what I'm talking about. And it's an actual object. So when we say color, we then give it the color that it's supposed to be in fact this will be color and we could say blue so now to use this variable we would say style equals and then inside the curly braces we give it the name of our variable that we just created and when I pull up the web page you can see that this is now being given the style that we just assigned. The color I actually need to assign it. I want to use this color down here. So I'm going to copy that. Now one thing to keep in mind is that everything is camel case so if your your CSS style that you're using is more than one word so for instance font size it's going to be camel case normally in regular CSS you would say font size like that but this is going to be a little bit different so it's camel case font size and we'll just say 32 pixels and then this I'm going to change the color to what I just copied there so you can see that I just went ahead and um, it has both font size and color being assigned to it and that the font size is showing up as 32 pixels which I just happened to guess and then it's almost the same size as this oh yeah look 30 so it's like two pixels bigger than this one uh, anyway so that is how you apply inline styles to elements um, that are in, inside of your react component it's really not a bad way of, of styling because I mean these components once you d you define them you just use them over and over again so I mean really the styling is self-contained it's it's very similar to like um like Google Polymers project, we're using the Shadow DOM where um, the styles only pertain to a specific chunk of, of the DOM. So it's really a good way to encapsulate styles um, for a particular element. Now you could be saying, well, I don't want to do that. Um, I just want to define my classes in a external style sheet using CSS that's familiar. And there's no problem with doing that. You don't have to use inline styles. I could simply give this instead of a style tag I could give it a class name which is also a camel case and this could be your external class name like my class name in this case it doesn't exist but that's how you assign a class and that class could have um, it could be styled inside of an external style sheet if that's more familiar to you I happen to like the inline style like I said just because it encapsulates 
this to this particular element and um, this particular style isn't going to be normally you don't want to do a bunch of inline styles if you're dealing with CSS because then that becomes a maintenance nightmare in this particular case uh, I think it's it's different um, just because of the encapsulation alright guys well that is how you style elements um, in react thanks for watching please subscribe and have a good day